In the wake of the chaos at the Capitol last week and with all eyes on the inauguration next week, there is no question as to why public safety is top of mind when it comes to the transition of power. But tucked away in the transition is a tradition that, if carried out, could ease the tensions. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie explains. Well, it's something Mr. Biden won't know about until he takes up residence in the White House and opens up the top drawer of the desk in the Oval Office. That's when we'll see if a tradition five presidents in the making will continue. Began with Ronald Reagan. It was a personal letter, more of a note, really, scribbled out on comic decorated stationery and left in the top drawer of the desk in the Oval Office for Ronald Reagan's Vice President George H.W. Bush to find upon taking the presidency as his successor. It was one friend to another uh, saying, hey, you know. It'll be okay. The chairman of Providence College's political science department, Joe Camerano, says that single act left an impression on the elder Bush, so much so that he followed suit, allowing a friendship to blossom with Bill Clinton, who he suffered a difficult loss to in 1993. And I would say George H.W. Bush framed the tone of all the other ones we've seen since then. When I walked into this office just now, I felt the same sense of wonder and respect I felt four years ago. That's how the note begins, capturing the awe of the office while bringing into focus the harsh reality of criticism that comes with it. There will be tough times, he says, before ending the note with a very poignant reminder. You will be our president, the word our underlined. We're foes, we fight, but we're all Americans. We all believe in you. You're the president. You represent us all. Unity, humility, humanity. That's what's on display in the letters. President Clinton passed one on to Bush 43. The younger Bush penned a note to Barack Obama. President Obama left one for Donald Trump. These letters are great because they really express the individual, but also something larger than themselves that carries across through presidents. They're not instructional or political. They're personal, a reflection on being the leader of the free world from the heart of one president to another. So it's sort of a way of saying, we're the only ones who really know what this is like. It reminds us that we're not mortal enemies the way we often think we are. Well, certainly that would be a welcome reminder in the current political climate, right? But we may not know if a letter is left from President Trump to Mr. Biden until he gets settled in. Stay tuned. We'll keep you posted. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.